Well, hello my friend, my name is Attila and this is Masterpiece. So if you follow my channel you probably already know I have a reputation to have crazy ideas. But these projects are my safe projects. So that means at the end of the day I will have something to show for. But if I want to take my skills to the next level, sometimes I have to try things that are risky like trying to develop a new wood turning techniques and that's what I am going to try to do today we are going to have some fun that is actually the code name for making something really ugly that you don't like let's get to it mustard piece okay so the plan is to use this sported beach block and red maple burr and put these wood pieces together I don't know if it's possible I don't know if it is going to look good but as I mentioned the approach is different so I'm going to show you the struggles let's get to it some of you might ask the question and rightfully so Atila what are you actually trying to do here? Well, I have no idea. Okay, you know what, let's just flow with it and we will see because when I improvise that usually goes really well. Alright, so it is mounted safely, now we can start to shape the outside first and this is the shape that we want to achieve. <laughs> Impressive, huh? Have you ever seen anything this beautiful before? Okay, some of you might say, yeah Attila, this shape is ugly, but, but, at least you are right, this shape is ugly, <laughs> it will get better, believe me, it will get better. Okay, let's have a look. Unfortunately, it's getting really small. Because of the squared shape, I have to take away too much. And it's just not going to be this bulky piece that I imagined in my mind. And it's not going to give me that nice shape that I planned for. I'm finding it difficult to get big pieces of wood. Where do you get your wood from? Can you give me some advice in the comment section? If I want to have anything large where I live is so expensive, I just can't afford that. So I don't think I am going to use the red maple one. I am going to use the original block and hopefully I can just attach this one back to the original position like this.
Okay, 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 okay. The outside is done. Are you ready for this? Because I, I'm not sure if you are ready for this flawless beauty. Look at this. Hey, that's <laughs> yeah, that's something. Okay, so let's start to hollow it and then I will carve it and hopefully when I carve it, it will look a little bit better. I still don't know if what I am planning is going to work or not, but hopefully we will get some kind of uh, interesting shape at the end. That would be the plan. Let me show you what we are trying to achieve. This is what we want to do here. So we want to open this one up a little bit. So we are just going to send away some from here and hopefully it will open up. But these parts, the bottom one still will be attached. We want something like this. And now the next step would be somehow just glue these two together temporarily. That's the problem with the whole thing. It has to be temporary. Okay, so it holds fairly well. Now I have to shape the bottom somewhat to be able to stick something to it and make a mounting point. Won't be easy. Okay, I'm going to use CA glue. <sighs> I added this one to the bottom. But you know, if I put this one in the lathe and this one goes flying, then that would be end of this project and that would be a really ugly video probably going to post it either way so can't break it it's actually hurting my hand ah, don't do this don't try this at home this is sharp because of the dovetail anyway What do you think? Am I going to survive this? Okay, so I put the camera here 
because it took me like a year to save up for a camera and it's not even expensive and I am going to turn it on Okay, so it holds, but we all know the problem is not going to happen while it is rotating freely. It is going to happen when I put the chisel in. So, wish me luck. This thing is so weird, man. <laughs> I give you a close up. This is probably the weirdest shape I have ever done. I mean, it's, I'm not even sure if it's, it looks good or not. It is just funny. It's just flat out funny. Look at this. Uh, what do you think? I don't know. To be honest, it looks like a weird flower. I am going to clean this one up and it will look much better that way. There is potential in this technique but I, I needed larger material to, to get the full potential out of it. But I don't know, let's just clean it up and we will see. So I am going to carve some slots here and I am going to insert these into these slots for absolutely no reason at all. Alright, so let me show you a small trick that I recently picked up and that will make your carving a little bit better your cut a little bit more accurate so most of you probably carve like this holding it like a pencil and just hope this thing is not going to slip so why don't you instead use two hands just put your thumb here and now you can support it with two hands like this have a really firm grip so it's much more stable like this mustard piece